Hey guys, the Aloxith here, back for another video. This time I'm going to be reviewing a very scary movie. Also with that cover slipcase. And it's starring the band I Wrestle Bear once. It's a comedy horror spoof film where they're pretty much making a spoof of Nightmare on Elm Street. Starring a killer named Shreddy, which is pretty much Freddy Krueger, but he was part of a hair metal band in the 80s called White Vulture. And his name is Shreddy, of course. And the way he kills people, are, he has an electric guitar with a knife attached to the end. And he haunts dreams and he has twisted ways of killing everybody. Like uh, one of the band members is in a wrestling match with some all-American guy that's a big buff guy. And then he comes out boxing ring and punches the guy his head off. And then another... One is a Dancing with the Stars parody where he pretty much just kills him like that. <laughs> so it's just them being wacky and fun, I guess. I don't think a lot of the band members can act other than Krista Cameron. Yeah, because I think she acts perfectly, whereas the other members over act and over sell everything where they're just over the top with their acting it's just hilarious it's a low budget movie and you can find it on cmdistro.com for if you want to buy it it's just i didn't have any expectations going into it i just thought um i also bear once is in it and they're one of my favorite bands so why not it's just supporting their acting debut and Hey, it's a fun movie to watch. It's just not really anything to walk home about. It's not one of those five-star classics, but if you don't go in with no expectations, it's just fun to watch and hilarious. It just Some of their acting ability isn't the best, and it's just so awkward at times, like me, of course. But hey, what can I say? But uh, yeah, they have like four alternate endings I believe or three alternate endings if I remember correctly it's just hilarious <laughs> oh we can't have an ending like this let's have a scooby-doo ending <laughs> and then they have a scooby-doo ending and then it's just over the top hilarity at its finest and what can I say I love the movie because it's just no expectations going into it. I didn't have this high expectations for like a five-star classic resort type thing. I don't know. <laughs> but it's you can't go in with expectations. It's just a low-budget film. Let's do a movie with these guys. And Century Media and Kodak, I believe, was the recording company or the video company that made it. And it was also sponsored by their merch store, Merch Now, and a couple other sponsors, Blue Ribbon and Beer, I think, also sponsored them. And they're like having obvious like advertisements in the movie for those sponsors. Like uh, before the wrestling scene, it's just like sponsored by Merch Now, <laughs> and it's just hilarious. It's like sponsored by Merch Now. Buy all your band merch needs at MerchNow.com right now and stuff like that. It's just, I found it hilarious and I just found myself laughing my ass off after the whole movie. It was just some of the lines and they just didn't take themselves seriously just like they do with their band. It's just pretty much a whole joke fun thing. Anyways, I would probably give the special effects maybe 2 or 3 out of 5. Uh, acting ability, meh, say 2.5 out of 5. Overall, I love the movie, so I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. But that's all a matter of opinion because, of course, you can't go in with high expectations. Like, I didn't have any, so of course, I'm going to love the movie and... It has their music throughout the film. Like, uh, I don't even remember some of the film songs because it's been a bit. But they open with them playing, and then they find a couple kids or a band murdered, and the <laughs> police are just hilarious. You can see them in their music videos every so often, and it's just, I loved it. 
Anyways, I definitely recommend checking it out. You can find it at cmdistro.com, and I'm sure you can still find the trailer online on YouTube. And I'm sure you can download it if you want to, but I would recommend buying it to support the band and support their acting abilities, I guess. But cmdistro.com, I think, is one of the places you can find it. And I'm sure you can find it on Merch Now and couple other online stores I'm not sure if you can find it in actual stores or not but I definitely recommend checking it out anyways overall I just give it a 405 and what can I say it, it was a fun movie to watch anyways thanks for watching my video any feedback is much appreciated down below if you want and any recommendations for any other movies you want me to review just give me a comment and say what you'd recommend or inbox me or whatever. I hope to be making more videos soon in the near future, which I think I said that last video or whatever. I have my Facebook fan page, which I always say new video soon, but I never actually make a video. Anyways, uh, just feel free to leave any feedback below if it was good, bad, if you see what you think I can improve. It, this is my first video for a while. So, uh, a very scary movie, I'd definitely recommend checking it out. Okay, thanks for watching. Peace.